if you already own an 85 and you've upgraded to the A drums, let me take you through the steps in order to make the A drums plug and play with the 85. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have the latest firmware. So check atvcorporation.com and the support page for the 85 to get the latest firmware upgrade and make sure you've done that upgrade first. The next thing you're going to need to do is reset the system. It's very simple to do. It's not going to erase any of your kits or your panning or your volumes or any important things like that but it is going to reset a couple system parameters like display contrast and time before auto off. That's the only thing it's really gonna change. Very simple to do. I'm gonna press the bottom right button and then I'm gonna press the bottom side button on the right hand side where it says reset. I have two choices, reset the system or reset factory sound. You don't wanna reset factory sound. You wanna press the left button that says reset system. And it's gonna do the idiot check because we're drummers, right? So yes, I want to reset, press reset. Boom, it's complete. It takes about two or three seconds. I have to turn the power off and on again. During the shutdown process is actually it saves a lot of the system parameters and other parameters that you've saved. So this shutdown process is very important. Never just pull the power. Make sure you always use the power button to power down. Now I'm gonna power back up. A drums, a little dancing profile, kind of fun. Tells me the version on the bottom, version 1.31 in this case. And there we are, back to our playable 85. Once you've done this resetting of the system, Play the A drums and see how it feels. Out of the box with the default factory settings, the 85 plays pretty great. But for my style of playing, I want a little different dynamic response. So I've saved my trigger settings for the A drums onto the SD card that all of you get with your 85. I'm gonna show you how to load that up. What I do is I press the bottom right button, which gets us into edit mode, system, and then I press on the top right, backup. Once I do that, I have a couple of different options for the SD card. Load, save, and delete. What I'm gonna do is load. I'm gonna press the load button, and it will give me all the different 85 backups that are on the card. In the backup, you can save just the kit data, you can save just the instrument data, you can save just the trigger profile data, or you can save any combination of the three. So I'm gonna use the data wheel and go and find my profile here. Oh, there it is, A drums V1 MD HD, which means medium hard, because I think I'm kind of a medium hard player. Once you've selected this particular pad profile set, A drums V1 MD HD, you'll notice that just the checkbox by trigger is selected. That means there is no instrument data, there is also no kit data being loaded up just trigger data. Once I've done that, I press the load button. And it's gonna ask me if I'm sure, I'm gonna press okay, which is one of the blinking buttons. It's gonna load it all up. The load is complete. It's now prompting me to turn the power off and on again. Once we've cycled the power on and off and I play the A drums, you'll notice that there's a big difference in the volumes and the ease of which I get dynamic range out of this kit. Remember, these are the new trigger profile settings you're gonna hear me playing with now. A 
lot more dynamic. There you have it, new custom trigger pad profiles. Really, really simple. You can save those, you can trade them, you can send them to your mother. She may not really understand what to do with them. Remember, check back with ATV. We're gonna put up a lot of videos helping you out with all our products, existing and future products. So stick with us, you'll be glad you did. Again, I'm Mike Snyder and here you have it. A Drums Artist Series Drums with the 85, changing the face of electronic drums.